Hello everyone and welcome to So Rare Thursday Club episode 21. Today we are talking updates and with me as always we've got the So Rare Mamba. How you doing mate? Very good, a pleasure to have you back. Feels like it's been a very long time since we were a tripod but yeah it's it just nice been. to have us all back together. And Dornado you go? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Also um, excited to be back as a little trio. Finally. It's been, yeah, a few weeks, but got my Soria cat ready, ready to go. Let's, let's have it. I'm loving the merch, mate. I'm loving the merch. They've done a great job, haven't they? Yeah, I'm not sure about the um, the quality of it. I think they probably need to work on it. I mean, I spent 740,000 coins on this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. I am interested in a top hat variety. It's very nice, isn't it? Well, it fits my... Um... You know me, with my curly hair. Yeah. It's my crew, doesn't it? The Mexican anyway. conductor. <laughs> so um, we are here today because there's been that big drop, hasn't there, in terms of news. Probably the biggest, would you say the biggest? Probably the biggest uh, news drop we've had, or certainly biggest uh, set of updates for when? Forever? Or for, certainly for a long time, right? I mean, it's a 12-minute read. It says 12-minute read. That's a very big update in terms of actual qu quantity of words. I haven't read that yeah. many words for a long time. Um, but yeah, it's pretty big. Some big news in there, that's for sure, which we'll unpack later. There's probably been bigger singular announcements, but it's like a widespread roadmap announcement. This is probably the biggest we've had in a while. Hmm. It's big enough to change our, our plans because we were, today we were doing a gallery re review, weren't we? So, um, like probably most people out there, we've completely flipped our plans, and today is going to be all about the updates because there's no point in giving me, uh, any kind of thoughts or opinions on on restructuring if uh, if the gameplay may be changing. So, um, plan today is to walk through, just focus on the updates, walk through each update, um, get our sort of thoughts and opinions on it, maybe how we'll apply a bit of strategy to it. Do we like it? Do we love it? Do we hate it? Or indifferent. Um, and yeah, what we can do with it going forwards. So. Um, if I get it up on screen, um, whoa, so, whoa. Yeah, it's not that type of show. Well, it, can be, well, it can be. I know, we're all, I know we're always looking for new fans, mate, but you know, there's different ways to go about it. Man, so, don't get paid. So, a Thirsty Club only fans edition. <laughs> Sometimes it's the only way, right? Can, can we see the screen? Is the first question. The answer is yes, I hope. No. Yeah, that's my screen. Here we are again. Okay. There we go. So, so rare updates. The product roadmap, twenty-three to twenty-four season incoming. A twelve-minute read, as you say, dropped eight hours ago. Um, what's happening? I'm, I'm not going to talk you through the blurb, but basically, um, first sort of major, major update in terms of so rare is the gameplay, so the comp formats. So um, they're now go. They're calling it going long, but essentially. They're now adding uh, an additional eight week, they call it a long, long format, so eight game weeks, where they'll take the top four scores uh, and accumulate them. And then the plan is to balance prizes across those formats. So it's not going to be that different to what we used to in terms of the, the gameplay, but um, obviously the scores will, scores will update across that eight week period. Uh, the first thing that stuck out for me on this one is if they're balancing prizes across formats, does that mean that there's less prizes essentially in this shorter format, making it um, harder for those one-off sort of smaller gallery wins? That was my first sort of thinking on that one, boys. Have you got an opinion on that one? Um, I think you look like Mexican Slash. That was my uh, thought on that piece. I, I like Slash and I like Mexico, so I'm right with that. Yeah. Um, no, it's a good point. You'd imagine if they're increasing competitions, they probably increase the prize pool as well would be my thought. Um, they do say that there be less prizes in the long, in the short, uh, long term game mode, wouldn't they? But they'd, they'd be of higher quality. Um, epic, I think they call them, whatever yes, that means. Epic. And maybe some, they'll eventually have some VIP slash experience slash collectible type things rather than just card prices or ETH. So maybe they'll see it that way as well. But you'd have to think there'd be at least a slight increase in the prize pool split between the two. But you're essentially entering the same team, aren't you, into it each week? I think so. so. I guess the only thing you have to do is look. Maybe you'll look more at... Because I assume, yes, I assume it's the same team locked in, right? So you would then look at the scores 
Are those weeks ahead or not? Is I don't think it's the same. Ahead? It's not the same team locked in. I think it's just whatever team you put in to All Star every week. You don't just select the same team. Oh, you just score each week. Okay. Well, yeah, it's just, it's yeah, just yeah, but each week. I think your short form and your long form global All Star team will be the same for the week. Yeah. So you won't yeah, pick yeah. a, a uh, All Star for the week and then an All Star for the season mode. It's the same one. It's effectively, so, a, effectively a private league, isn't it? Like when you yeah. set up a private league. Um, Hopefully, they set up their private, right? Which is hopefully good. they set up their private league correctly and not for Bundesliga and for the incorrect amount of game weeks <laughs> like we both did in the last week. But um, yeah, I think one of the interesting points uh, from it is that only four of the eight scores for the eight weeks will count, which is a bit of an odd one because if it's a long game, surely it, it should be sort of rewarding people who have a more rounded, um, you know, gallery that can do that score well every week because th then it's just it's weird to me that i'd rather it was like a 16 week competition with eight weeks scoring or something like that so that it's just a longer period of time it's um it's a, it's a strange one for me that maybe it's something like with with some of the other updates they're going to just see how it goes for a couple of months and if if they need to amend it they can i guess but yeah, that's what I would presume that it's sort of like a trial run that will eventually yeah. expand to other comps and stuff. But I would agree that I think it's absolute dog shit the way they're doing it. Um, mm -hmm. Best four scores count out of eight weeks. What sort of fucking league is that? You don't play any form of long-term league and go, oh, we'll only count your best half the results. Yeah. If it's a team's got super teams and they're playing the five best players in the fucking platform each week and they go, oh, Carlos Gill actually was rested this week. doesn't matter, though, because he played at least four of the games so i got yes yeah, fucking 454 right. times i can see i can see their thinking behind it but if they're gonna do it they should do it to get rid of like one outline game week say seven of the eight score to, to get rid of a whole half of the games yeah is and it's a strange decision for me it's not like it's rewarding commitment anyway because it's auto enroll if you enter the competition like it's not like mm -hmm. you're specifically going oh i better check what my uh, long-term team soon this week you just enter your normal team and you're in it so i don't see why they need to you know maybe they're thinking oh there's there's a tiny amount of game weeks i don't know if it only runs on the weekend game weeks or you know you could yeah. get a midweek game week where there's only two teams playing and they're like well if we cut out a couple of game weeks that gives people a chance with smaller galleries that won't be able to um you know have a team in the midweek because there's no games on so it gives them a chance to still compete at the top of the leaderboard because you don't have to be in every game week, yeah, which would make sense. But if they just wrote that in here, then it yeah. would make total sense. And I would understand rather than saying it's a shit system. So I it agree. would be nice, which I will have a running theme through most of these points is you release an update like this without enough clarity for people to still not bitch and moan about it. Um, yeah, it's like it's like all of these separate announcements would have been better actually as individual announcements with be with better detail yeah, um, yeah. They, they've tried to like keep so many people happy by covering so many different points that they haven't really covered them all in quite enough yeah detail but also drop drop one a day keeps engaged like ch chuck it all in one it's, it's a lot to take but anyway yeah. I, I do think it's, i do think it's cool to have sorry it is cool to have something that's similar to what the Surrey data leagues were back in the day because i used to love those um obviously it'll be slightly different because there's only uh five aside when compared to like the 11 side leagues in Sora data, which was, which was good. But I, th I think ultimately, if you ignore all these weird little rules they've put in, the fact that they're introducing longer format games, I think is good. Cause that's, that's a cool thing. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I think at the bottom, so they, they announced the card rewards uh, in advance as in the podium. So some people won't like that cause they like the, the drama of not knowing, Yeah. but then which, which, Obviously, it'd be the same for everyone outside of the podium. But I think it's quite cool that you can see the podium at the start and go, right, I'm aiming for the Mbappe or whatever it is. Yeah. I think I'll like drum up hype and like get interest in it. Yeah, true. We, uh, everyone, most people are calling for long-term competitions, like longer format competitions. So it's a step in the right direction. And hopefully this is just a trial, you know, that will be expanded upon maybe extra leagues, you know, like, like a rare pro one would be good. Because I presume it's just the four... Global All Star. I don't know if you get a unique one, but you get a blue, a red, and a yellow one, don't you? Yeah. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I presume you get a unique one. I don't dabble in that, but um, so I guess it's four versions of it to start with. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it'd be good if it was expanded and there was you know longer than eight weeks. 
but it's a good start and i think it's something that people wanted so hopefully you know it grows and becomes more refined after the first one so do you boys do you like or dislike that first update uh i like overall i like like perfect rick uh yeah on balance i like the direction it's going in even if i don't particularly yeah. like the um execution Correct. on the first one yeah and i like it i'm not wild. it's not gonna it's not sending me wild but i like it some extra right yeah so i'm good for it cool you don't need an, you don't need extra team or extra cards for it do you so no exactly just something else isn't it mm -hmm. next one um new kickoff they called it kickoff game modes for fans which will confuse people that play kickoff because it's not actually kickoff um and they've already said they might change the name but effectively they're going to be launching a new game mode on a mobile app which I think it's pretty cool. Um, so they talk about it. Um, they give the example being a buy your friends um, and you can open the app and set your five cards and play against each other, which, you know, sounds all right. Um, then they talk about the fact that and they stuck out to me a little bit more, that they're going to have daily leaderboards, promotion and relegation, which I think is a bit engaging. And then a the clan feature, which I think could be potentially fun. You know, obviously we've got our group and then there'll be other groups out there depending on where the app goes i mean you know, again it's beta so it could go anywhere um and they're talking about uh launching it alongside the cash wallet as well so um yeah i mean my initial thoughts on this is pretty cool like yeah you, and it i've got to say you can compete, compete multiple scarcities as well which is another, another element of it which is quite handy um but yeah i think it's, i think it's cool to have a mobile app you don't really know about it till it comes right but um and it might engage another target market or user like the casual user um what do you boys think i mean it's going on the it's going on the current app isn't it yeah which the, current, might, the current mobile app yeah which oh, might actually adding give, to the app are they yeah I think so. which ah. might give us a reason to actually open that app because um, I, don't, I don't use it at all the app i don't, I don't use it no. at all um, well there you go I, I didn't even reference it did i i use the so rare data one that's it and I think I think an app's important to target a more casual user, isn't it? Because you know you, everyone does things on the phone. Not everyone wants to log onto a, a desktop. You can't do most of the things on the mobile app that you need to do to be successful at SoRare. So you know it. It all sounds reasonably interesting. It'd be fun to have. You know, pick a pick a five a side team against us when we're in the pub or something for a game we're going to watch. Leagues promotions, yeah. But if there's nothing actually in it. I'm not sure how like a, a veteran user really would be that interested, but that's not the point. They've already said it's new users, right? They just want to get a new fan base interested and quick, easy, mobile. That all makes sense as a good way to, you know, attract some people. So it, it'll come back to how engaging it is, won't it? Um, kind of cool. Like, I feel like, like even if there's if it's just for fun, like it, if I'm in the pub with you, say, and I'll be like, right, Pick a five-a-side team. I'll pick a five-a-side team. Loser buys a pint. Like it doesn't have to be a, a prize within the game. It can just be somewhere to compete against a mate. Like yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It is cool. I, I worry it's like quite a lot. They're trying to spin a lot of plates here, and I'm just worried they're they're um, they're trying to keep so many people happy that they won't end, they'll end up keeping no one happy. Um, mm -hmm. It's cool. Game, also, why, gameplay, why do they call it kickoff? Why don't why don't they just call it any other thing that wasn't the same as the thing they've got already? It's such a weird decision. <laughs> I mean, there's been a lot of talk today that um the main core product is becoming more complicated, right? And harder to learn. So if this is an easy way to learn the ropes, then that makes sense to entice new customers, right? New users bef before they have to start using fucking training cards um so it makes sense from that if it's fun and easy to use and engaging you know i can see um i can see the benefit of it uh with a cash wallet launch which it mentions in there you know it can be enticed to get people to progress from there i already spend a lot of time on so rare so do i need like a free to play mobile app game probably not for me but that's not who it's aimed at so who gives a shit what i think on it um it might be an easier way when you're out in the pub, as Johnny said, with your mates having a beer to go, all right, lads, I think fucking United dick Newcastle here. Do you want to fancy picking a five-a-side team? Each loser gets a round in, like you said, and then they're like, yeah, yeah, mate, on what? And you're like, just download Sarah app, mate. Do it on there for free. Pick your cards. And then they beat you. You buy them a pint. And you go, you could buy all those in limited for 
19 quid, mate. And then use my referral code. Thanks for the card. <laughs> Happy days. What's that noise? <laughs> what is that? Like a cheeky, you know. <laughs> you sound like Sifler, American. Can't pie. wink though, so you know I couldn't wink, so I made a noise instead. Nice. Like it. Right. What we what we thinking of that update then, boys? Are we liking it, loving it? I'm mean, not liking it. I like I like it. I guess. I mean, it's just another bit of fun. I just I haven't got enough time to concentrate on all these different games that I'm bringing in. But I'm I know I'm going to end up doing it. Um. So, yeah, it's interesting. It's a wait and see cool. for me. Yeah. I think it's, it's a cool it's a cool it's a cool theory, cool thought. Mm. It could turn out a, a bag of I, shit, or it could. Turn I think out it's. Great, right? I think they've probably had some feedback regarding how many people actually use the app. And I'd, I'd be interested to see a um, a poll of how many people, like regular so rare users, you know, we know, all know the same names on Twitter all over the time. How many of them actually use the so rare app? Because we've been doing the game for three years and I have I went on it once and it's awful. Um, so I just don't use it. <laughs> so if if this is the a way they're going to get people to start using the app, then maybe, maybe this is a start for them. I don't know. Yeah, to be an all-encompassing um, game like this, take over the football NFT world, you need a, a good app, don't you? Because people are on their phones all the time. So, I still find it weird that um, that so rare data is our like core library for everything so rare, which is separate to so rare. If that makes sense. Like, yeah. apps, like any in in most business world, I would have thought so rare would try and eat them up and. Either well, they've, buy that, they've got an buy agreement, that right? They got an agreement, yeah. But I mean, mm. either because if you think about it in terms of like using the app, for example, we all go to so Red Data, which yes, they are partners, but they're still not. They're still separate companies. It's almost like a weird indirect competitor. Mm. Um, I don't know. Yeah, part. Of, I mean, it doesn't bother me, but it's just a, it. I feel like part of their li limitation actually is so Red Data themselves, even though they're so close. Because I love server data. Things amazing. I wonder, yeah. I wonder if they uh, do try and offer them a big uh, lump sum to take take their name. Often. It might be part of server data's plan. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of companies do do that. To eventually just get bought out. I don't know why yeah. server haven't just bastardized their app anyway and just done what they do. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whether they've probably got a gentleman's agreement in place for working on it since the start. But yeah. God knows. Anyway, we digress. Next next element of updates, we've got the sort of the other gameplay updates. So the first one's around super rare eligibility. So unique comps. None of us play uniques. Uh, Ricky, I think you're the only one to have ever owned a unique. Have you still got your unique? Uh, no, I've owned three at separate times. I don't own any of them anymore. Um, there you go. So did I you mean, ever play the unique comps? I played kickoff unique um, a couple of times, but I've never played unique comps. I I would don't like this one. I mean, it doesn't really affect me because I don't play uniques, but they say there's a lot more uniques now. So you only can use one super rare in unique division instead of two. In my eyes, that just closes the top shop off a bit more. And, you know, I don't like that. Not that I'm going to enter it anyway, but, you know, just making the top a bit more exclusive. And I'm not a massive fan of it, but I suppose it's not a huge change and it doesn't affect most of us anyway. John, any thoughts? I mean, I couldn't care less. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, like, I've got one. Both. I've got one super rare. And he plays in Hungary, so um, yeah. Matt Snowster. Not, not bothered, Matt Snowster. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, act soon. I act soon. Let's hope so. If if it appeases the the people who like uniques, maybe that makes it more more competitive. Maybe people, the main whales, were getting pissed off with how well people were doing they were starting two super rares for about 10 grand less in the in the competition and winning stuff i don't know but don't bother yeah. me mate i'm with you i'm with you couldn't couldn't care less but can see to rick's point i can see why if you play in that in that world um it will be irritating i don't see it feels like so rare just pushing people to it's gonna it's gonna irritate the um irritate the people who have super rares and it's gonna appease the people of uniques isn't it you can't keep every yeah. bloody person happy yeah same as, same as I, su those guests. I suppose yeah. only people with like two to ten uniques who are really affected by this aren't they because they don't yeah. have quite the flexibility to 
compete at the top and maybe steal a couple of prizes. Um, but that's not going to be a high percentage of the player base. So, yeah, no, I'm with you there. Cool. So, are we all on the, the the like, dislike, or couldn't care less? I think I'm on the couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Yeah. Dislike. Dislike. Boom. Next one, next next sort of other gameplay element. There'll be no change to uh, Matrix. That's a confirmation. I think that's a good thing. I think they nailed the Matrix as far as, you know, yes, yes, they can do better always, but it's pretty bloody good, isn't it? Compared to most Matrixes out there and for what, what we've seen from other platforms, I think they've nailed it to a point. Um, and also, we've obviously all planned our galleries to it. Any thoughts, boys? I, I mean, think it's... it's sorry, you carry on, Rick. I was just going to say, yeah, I mean, lots of people have a few changes they'd like to make, but, you know, it's a pretty good system overall. The only thing I'd say is if you're not going to make any changes, you could have said two months ago, three months ago, just got it over with. That's true. Very good point. Not 10 days gonna, before the season. I was just going to say that, like Rick said, you know, there's, I think everyone thinks of a couple of changes they would have made. Like there's a few things, a couple of things I don't like, like goalkeepers losing loads of points for, losing possession when it's just them taking a goal kick which just seems really fucking harsh to be honest um and then what was the other one i always thought about it's the penalties um, it's the, no it's if you miss a penalty mm -hmm. as a striker you only get negative five points or something don't you? yeah there's a couple around the penalties it's, it's as well it's winning them as well yeah that's right yeah element. Yeah, winning a penalty, but then someone else misses it. The person yeah. who wins, wins the penalty doesn't get anything, which doesn't seem right, really. But, um, but yeah, I mean, at least they've said it now. Before the season starts, like, they're not going to make any changes. I'll be interested to see if they actually stick to that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. But, yeah. Anyway, I think like, we all like that? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I like. Sure. Why yeah. not? Next one, I must admit, so when you boys text me saying there's been all the changes, this was the first thing I saw, and I sat there and smiled, knowing I felt a bit naughty, because I know a lot of people have felt literally the opposite way. But, um, yeah, so Rare have, they stated to maintain a healthy game balance will only cover leagues where we have licensed clubs in that league. Um, and therefore, they have stated they will not cover the Saudi league in 2023-2024. And we'll reevaluate next season. That I thought was quite a, a bombshell to read in 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 the fact that I felt like my Twitter timeline before all of this was filled with people pumping the Saudi league, wanting it to be covered. Um, and obviously, it's like a bit of a danger at the minute, isn't it? I, again, I kind of like the drama of seeing all these players' names come up and going across, but I'm not also part of that at the minute. I've been playing quite safe with my purchases, whereas I, I can imagine for anyone who's owned let's say a Milinkovic Savic, for example, <laughs> it might burn a little bit. What do you reckon, John? I don't know why you bring that up, mate. Um, <laughs> I mean, it is kind of annoying. You know, I, it's, yeah, obviously I've got a spinner there as well who's a keeper, but he's been there for a couple of years now, so it's not exactly like I've just suddenly lost him. Um, uh, yeah, Milinkovic Savic, Joining is a bit of a kick on the ass because he's my most used ever card. Um, and he's now available for about 40 quid. Um, but I mean, that's kind of just brought it down to what I paid for him in the first place because I bought him so long ago. <laughs> so I've still got my money's worth out of him. And I've got I've had a few limited to join Saudi as well. Um, I do still think they'll cover them eventually. Um so I, do I. but but yeah. For the fact they just announced it now is, is good, I think. Like, I obviously would have liked it to be covered so that I had Malik Savage, and I know a lot of other people would have liked it to be covered for the vast majority of randomers that have joined there this uh, this summer. But um, they just put, put it to bed, and they and just said, it's not been covered, fine. We can all just move on, and then we'll evaluate at the end of the season. So I think it is a good announcement. I don't like the announcement, but it's a good announcement. Right. Um, yeah. I pretty much agree with them. We had a big run up to get leagues like the Premier League involved. It wasn't just like, oh, a couple of players have gone there. This by the license, let's get it done. You know, would I feel right if the league's not covered and someone was running Ronaldo, Benzema, fucking Brozovic and winning Global All Star and they win Mbappe because there's no actual Saudi League cards to win? Um, I agree with them on that. I think it's sensible to, you know, have the time to look at the impact of the league and the cards. 
they need time to negotiate a deal if they were going to cover it anyway. Um, so announcing it now, they've got themselves a year if they want to sign the league for the start of next season anyway. The difference with this one compared to China or usual is these are quite big big name Red X's, aren't they? There's high quality, high value of player involved and it's happening at a rapid rate. And, you know, people are losing valuable players out of the blue. So I can see why people are pissed off. And I think eventually it will be a goal of theirs to onboard everyone because they're not going to run out of cash, Saudi. It's going to keep happening. And in a year's time, there's going to be this four thing. times the amount of players there. It's going to keep happening. Mm -hmm. But yeah. at least at least they've been clear about it. You know, they've given their reasons, which I broadly agree with. And they're saying this season will not be covered. We'll let you know next year if it's back. So, you know, it's done. There's, we're not going to spend it going... I think they'll cover it transfer window. You know, I think I think it'll be gone. Or, or I spotted a spinners available in Asia. That's going to be, that's going to be a, that's a sign. You know, we know, <laughs> we know now. Some people won't agree with it. Some will, but they've said it. Move on. Yeah. Adjust accordingly I, now. I'll tell you what, Milinkovic Savic better get 100 in the Asian Champions League game that he's going to play. My only utility yeah. from him for the season. Um, internationals as well, mate. Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah. Got internationals. He's I'm more annoyed. I'm more annoyed with him than I am with Sora. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what we're supposed to predict, Sora was supposed to predict a year ago that Saudi Arabia was suddenly going to become government funded and buy fucking everyone in the world. Like, sometimes you have Pretty to cut them a little slack, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. You can't, they don't just get licenses at the click of a finger overnight, do they? I certainly, I certainly think Sora are going to be monitoring the league this season. And like yeah. analysing it, seeing how the players score. Because a lot of the players that have left to join Saudi are players that obviously are on the back end of their careers. Fair enough. But also there's a lot of big names that have gone. Like Milinko Savic is in his prime. You've got Jota from Celtic's gone there. Brozovic, I think, is only about late 20s, is he? Maybe 30s. He's very I think he is. And then you've got so many other big names getting linked. And There's, a, there's a lot of young players that have gone as well now. There's a, a decent players, long, yeah. long list. It's, I've got it's... a theory with this because if you read the writing, it says we'll only ever cover leagues when we've licensed clubs in that league. I think, as you've said already, they, it will happen. And I think they're going to spend this season agreeing licenses with mm. clubs. It might not be the whole league, but even getting a few clubs. I'm pretty certain next year we will have, unless the league falls apart for some reason, pretty certain we're going to have them next year. And I think anyone who is spending the season scooping up the cheap cards of these top players will be laughing next year. I mean, if, if I were you, I'd definitely pick up a Milinkovic Savage oh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Only from Dornado's gallery though, yeah? He's six. No, I'm not trying to sell him. There's no way I'm selling him for 60 quid. But like, the fact you can pick one of them up for 60 pound at the moment, a rare is just mad. <laughs> You have to think as well, if they were going to commit to a multi-year licence for a league that essentially became relevant about 40 minutes ago, um, you know, that's a big step on their part if it was just a flash in the pan like China. I mean, it's not going to be because they've got unlimited pots of government money. But, you know, there's something that they have to look at from a business side of view, isn't it, before you go into a, a serious uh, contract with someone. When, when's the, mate, yeah. when's the oil going to run out? Never. Um, Have we asked Dave, David Attenborough? No. When's when's that happening? I think the oil will outlast Attenborough, unfortunately. Yeah, I think the oil will outlast the Earth, unfortunately. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Right. right. Next. Anyway, before this Saudi discussion outlasts us, let's move on. So next up, club facilities. I quite like. I don't know about you boys. I quite like the little visuals on all this as well. Yeah, the, the actual facilities themselves look mm -hmm. lovely. Well, you they can buy that. You could probably buy that gym for about twenty five thousand so coins in a month. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, more power introducing club facilities. So they are now, I guess, gamifying. So rare. They've already got the app that they're going to launch, and now they're talking about having club facilities and specifically physio and training being the first two. Um, and then they talk about in the future having your own stadium um, and other facilities um, and how through using the club shop you'll be able to unlock these. So obviously that's another revenue stream that they're opening plus another like aspect or element to game play, um, which again can appeal to other users. Um, I guess generically on that first sort of piece, um, to me that massively appeals. I just think, it's, I mean, it doesn't hurt your... I say it doesn't hurt your existing gallery. It will to a point, depending on the XP. But 
it just adds another element to playing so rare and just yeah just something else it's just a bit more interesting isn't it they talk about own your own own your club i think is what they're it's, it's very football so manager it. isn't it it's very yeah. football manager which, which i love you we know I obviously football manager is a, a i'd like it to be a bit more realistic because i mean i've played the last sort of three or four football teams i've played for their facilities haven't included a toilet with a flush or anything like that so <laughs> Uh, or like running hot water so if they can make it realistic where like the players have to get under like a freezing cold shower and like there's floaters left in the toilet and you know there's and mud Ricky has tantrums in the changing room <laughs> mud all over the changing rooms <laughs> um certainly i've never seen facilities like that one up there but but yeah i mean it is it is kind of cool and I would like, if it was just an individual thing, I would like it. But it's just another thing that I have to try and think about to do. Um, so, you know, for smaller galleries, I appreciate it's it's cool. It's just going to be very difficult for me to have the time to, like, train my fucking 400 cards to not be zero power. So it's it's interesting. It is cool, but it is cool. But you still do it, won't you? You'll still oh, I mean, I will do it, but I'm going to lose about 12 years off my life through stress doing all this all the time. <laughs> I, I would disagree with both of you. Say it's not cool, it's not interesting, it makes you want to throw up on it. It's a bag of shit. Um, oh, mate. Get him out. You know, what I will, you know, it was confirmed, they said on Twitter, you know, someone said, this is just a revenue stream, you money grabbers. And they're like, well, it is another source of income. We thought it was better than something like a burning mechanism, which, you know, I will probably give them on that. I do like the idea of having a club and, you know, being, um, you know, uh, personalizing your own club and things like that. But in essence here, you're spending more coins, more money, more time to do shit things like physio and training, which were the worst things on Ultimate Team in the world. And now you're basically doing it here. Oh, no, my players play two games. He's gone down in percentages. Let's buy a fucking rest pack to put him back up. I don't want to do that. I spend loads of times on so rare. I want to use my time scouting, building teams, not fucking give, send them to the physio in the training center or put them in, giving them under 23 training session, you know, bollocks to what, it. Don't want to do it. What would be good is if the, the physio on the game actually got them fit in real life. Um, so like Calvert Lewin, for example, who is a walking injury for two years, I could actually send him to a physio and he'd play. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I mean, they said they would expand the shop. They said it multiple times, but I thought it would be for more fun things rather than buying training drills or focus mm -hmm. cards or rest packs or, you know, things like that. Um, it's a little the one thing Sarah I. Mega, isn't it? Sir Omega did some sort of. Yeah. And, that was a joke. That was and, football boots and random yeah, shit. Wasn't yeah. That? Was and basically, yeah. everyone got bored of that when it got too gimmicky, which I'm worried this is where this starts to head down the route of. It's obviously not too bad because if you don't care and you just want your, you're happy for your players to go tired or whatever, then it's not as big a deal. But, but also, the like, so the. the stadium stuff and all the the more personal stuff like so rare in my opinion 90 percent of what i read on twitter and people on it are flexing most of the time it's flexing about galleries flexing about cars they've won flexing about wins like that will be the next thing that people flex about and i think that will actually become quite fun that's just the way the culture so rare is if they get it right if it becomes just something to spend money and is pretty bad average then i agree like what's the point the physio and training element like yeah like again i, I agree it's a, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to do i didn't really play fifa like you boys so i don't really know what how bad that was i didn't um, play fifa either that much <laughs> yeah so so i kind of I, at the minute i like the thought of it i think it just but probably because i've got a smaller squad as well like in my mind i'm targeting rare and i want 24 to 30 cards that's all i want and i'm going to treat it like an actual like real life squad like football manager like real life so probably that's manageable but mm, i wouldn't want to be pissing around with hundreds of cards doing all that um and also i did read earlier someone made a good point of like this the one of the usps about so rare is it follows real life like the injuries the form everything else so you add in these like extra little perks that like makes it not real life. So if Calvert Lewin like has a shit game, but for someone boosted him up somehow for some reason, something happens. Well, that's not mm. that doesn't really tick the box for me. 
I think that probably actually would disengage me. That's a good point. That's a very good point. So what I want, think you know? I want my I want my actual good players to not to, to to score well and not people that start shit players to score well because of the bonuses is basically what you're saying. Yeah, well, then because you can you can purchase it from the store, right? So the you got the training center where you can train up your players and you can buy additional training spots, um, yeah. which means your XP accumulates quicker. And then the physio center is the other one that they can do at the same time, which means the fit, fitness bonus um, can can go up as well. So naught to ten percent will be applied on that one. Again, you can purchase it. So, like people who have money will be able to recover recover their players faster and get their XP up quicker by spending it, which is great again for so rare. But is that great for gameplay and for everyone else's engagement? I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Well, well, I mean, I'm like, sure like the example you've sure. just given, Jess, um, economic team builders who have just got like this small focused team, it's going to hurt them. Obviously, I caveat all of this why we don't know when they say it will slightly affect, you don't know how much up and down it's going to go each week. Mm. But if we worked on just an average level, you've got 10 players that you want to use all the time. You know, you haven't got the same amount as me who could potentially rotate cards in and out so they have the rest week to recover. I've already got 80,000 so coins in the bank so I can buy fucking rest packs. It was like mm. on foot Ultimate Team, wouldn't it? You just use the same team of players, buy a 20% fitness boost to, to heal them back up so you never had to use a different team, you know. I know they have to find ways to make money and get people to buy and give away different things. And, you know, but it's just like a level that I don't really feel interested in. You know, I feel like it favors deep galleries and people that have gone for those full collections. We've got those massive bonuses already in, you know, it's fucking bonuses on bonuses on bonuses. How many bonuses do we need? When is enough bonus enough? Like, yeah, you're right. There's five also, categories like, bonus now, right? That gives up to thirty percent or something like that. It's like one thing. When I did is think it just my players well, for your players? Like, I don't, again, you, you made the point about we don't know how hard, like fast this fitness goes up or down, um, which is probably going to be the ultimate decider, right? So if it goes down quite quickly, my small squad are fucked quite quickly. If it's super slow, then there's probably a way of managing it, and you have to spend so much money. The yeah. big galleries would just probably just duplicate players like oh, i'll just buy five mbappes and then i'll just play this one and then i'll play that one and i'll play this one and then destroy <laughs> yeah the, the thought because there's always a big impactful negative from when they do a big announcement like this then it, the fitness one's definitely the fucker from this one that people have you know got their yeah. backs up about because a range of like 10 to 0 percent seems quite wide like 10% is really high and impactful. So yeah. it's really important for us to know like how quick or fast that goes up and down. Well, I'd yeah. like to have been given this detail in it now so people weren't all moaning about it because they actually just knew. Um, in, the, in the end of the day, we had had a lot of like percentage increase things, didn't we, like boosts and collections. And everyone does always say, well, this is going to break the game, blah, blah, blah. And it never does. And eventually... You don't care, but this one thing is ten percent, which does seem quite a lot. When you build into these five things, you can have like thirty percent more. That does seem like a lot compared to so many other things. Why is, um, why is it so much higher? Why not just make it zero to five percent? <laughs> it is high. It's, it's very high. When you think about, we're going to get into it in a minute. But if you think about cap two forty has risen by twenty percent. That's fifty percent of that additional rise is gained by anyone who's mm. got that advantage. Mm. That's a lot. Yeah, I mean, I do not like the fitness model, but in trying to be positive, you know, if they have to build in a way to make more money or get people to spend coins or cash on other things, is this the worst idea they could have done? Like fleshing out your club and like making it more like a football manager style in-depth training thing. I would say it's probably not the worst thing. And this type of thing could probably keep people on site a bit longer which yeah. is probably one of their aims because now, I mean, I spend ages on anyway. I'm in like the top fucking 0.1%. It's disgusting. <laughs> but um, something else to do, if you've only got one or two teams and you set them and then you go and do your training squads and your physio and you have a chat to your physio about their weekend and stuff, um, that might keep people on site for a bit longer, which could be a positive, I guess. Anything fitness related just makes me feel sick, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is fitness? 
Yeah, what the fuck is fitness? I'm interested to see how you how you um, score our fitness ratings on um, Flopter for Sora Fives. <laughs> like, the whole of Sora is going to see our fitness ratings at I'm seven. I'm going to so have to have one week on, four weeks off, I reckon, to get back to, to fitness <laughs> percentage level. <laughs> Um, one thing we we went over just uh, in the paragraph above about the training, yeah. I thought was quite interesting. Is you know you got to build training squads now, like send your players to the training centre, and if you put all your under twenty threes in there, you can buy a specific boost for under twenty threes or thing like that. So more of a focused training. <clears throat> and the interesting line from it is that cards not in a team or the training centre don't get XP anymore. There's no more passive XP. So cards that you're oh, not training or playing no longer get xp at all it's not in this paragraph it's in the it's in a couple down in the next section we haven't got to yet but it's a really interesting yeah. point that your cards you don't use in anything no longer just passively build up and eventually you go oh that card i owned for two years is level 20. It, it'll just still be a shitter worth 40p that's got no xp i like this that is, a lot there's just so much like hidden announcement in this announcement <laughs> yeah you know this this um, this will all benefit people like Prof Tekka who like don't miss a detail and always find the best like way to play everything. Like early doors, people like him will probably make make killing on it. Um I saw So Rare Canary post something earlier that I thought was it actually changed my whole thought process because you know how I've sold out of limiteds. Um yeah. I think this announcement will draw people back into limiteds, even like if I, if I was playing just super rares, for example, because you can build up your coins. And now I wasn't bothered by coins at all, really. Like, I'm picking up as I go, but I wanted the cards. Now all of this has happened, and you need to, like, train your players and do all this and that and buy things from the shop to do it all. Yeah. Like, suddenly coins become relevant, and the quickest way to get coins is to play loads of shit cheap teams and just stack them up. You definitely need a steady, a steady stream of coins coming in now. Um, yeah. Which you know, luckily, the bigger galleries do have. I guess like we we probably have about two thousand coins coming in each week, don't we, Ricky? Roughly, mm -hmm. but I think this is certainly uh, made made them more of a need to get your coins, and that's what they want, really, isn't it? They want they want people to be it's clever. Them. Yeah, it is clever. Uh, Jess, if you need coins, I would say to look at the special weekly that's on this weekend. I know you've been a bit out of the loop as you've been away, but you can. Uh, earn up to 5,000 coins if your team gets over 350 points this weekend. This weekend? Interesting. In a special weekly, special shop weekly. I do need coins because I probably earn about four or 500 at a time. So you, you'd have sold your, You've sold your gallery by tomorrow, to be fair, so you probably won't mm, went into that. Yeah. Mate, have you yeah. seen my gallery recently? Uh, I've, I've seen a few of you. I, I, I'm pretty questions. sure I'm a bigger Everton fan than you are right now. <laughs> Which oh, isn't a good thing. <laughs> I really want that pick, but I'm jealous. <laughs> um, if they do make coins more important, I suppose they can then use those as prizes in comps and things because people actually need coins, so they'd be more desirable rather than right now. If they went in this comp for X amount of coins, it wouldn't be as important to some people as well, you desperately need it so you can give your James Madison a plus two fitness another, another thing we um we sort of glossed over a little bit above there was that they did say they give like health packs and stuff as rewards sometimes as well so you know that that's kind of cool as well like um if you get i don't know i don't know how they're going to do it but like the top thousand in all-star might get a, a rest pack or a physio fucking team or something i don't know but, <laughs> but it's kind of like yeah it's kind of cool no, no, I like it. I mean, I like yeah, it has things. another dimension, doesn't it? I think I get why people don't like it. It's like all of this stuff. Like we all have our opinions. We haven't even played with it yet. We, we mm. most most opinions will change whatever happens. But I kind of agree with a bit of everything that everyone's saying. I can see all angles, um, and it does again. Like onboarding. This is what worries me about so rare. It's already complex as fuck. Like trying to get our mates to play it is a nightmare. Trying to get our mates who like football. How many times have we tried to get engaged? Like we got a, a WhatsApp group with friends that are in it who have signed up who are still disengaged or are on it and have no idea what they're doing. Um, I feel like it's still so niched. Uh, it's almost like part of me does wonder that may, maybe actually so rare will just continue to grow and evolve and 
be successful, but with its current market as opposed to like mass adoption, because it doesn't feel like it's getting any simpler at all. Maybe, if anything, maybe the other way. Change, they should change their name to So Niche. <laughs> But what, what 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 games of like any real depth are that simple? Like a lot of things, any of these NFT games, you know, are quite advanced once you get into it. So, you know, there's only so simple they can make it before it just becomes. You, fucking, you want it. To, you want it to have a happy medium, don't you? You don't want to have like every happy Tom ending. Dick, you don't want to have every Tom, Dick, and Harry doing it that just makes the game unrealist. Like that makes the value stupid. Like you know you but you don't want it to be like stupidly complicated you want like actual football fans to be to be doing it um Do you know what i think it is though? i don't think so have decided yet what they are like what is their direction are they are they a that they call them a so they fancy platform you know fancy sports platform whatever mm. but like they're now going towards gameplay so what is it yeah because i i think they knew that just stacking an so5 and giving out money and cards you know needed to be fleshed out so they they're aiming for that collectible building personalization mm -hmm. angle to you know who's the target i think market? it's more long term they're going for now so how do we um, get mass adoption on so this is off on tangent a little bit but where is the mass adoption coming from what i want to know is where the fuck is serena williams and when is she going to give us <laughs> A really yeah. good promo SOS video. SOS Serena. Where the, hell, where the hell is she? She's a freaking ambassador. It's a good point. Yeah, where, yeah where's Serena Williams' SO5 recommendations for the upcoming that. season? Yeah. I'd fucking watch that video. Yeah. Hashtag and, when tennis. Here we go, Serena Williams. <laughs> right. Yeah. On that note. Should we go let's, down? <laughs> let, let, let's scroll down. I couldn't think of a segue, so I'm just going to scroll. This is quite nice. Yeah. Cool image as well prototype of a training center upgrade right mm. so next up more ownership four bonuses to building winning strategies so um the the bonuses available in terms of gameplay and winning or increasing your point score you've got your new fitness bonus which has been talked about already um you've got your experience points that's your xp which already within the game and then you've also got your new season bonus which um are when you're buying your new cards and you get an additional five percent and then finally, but they have made a change to that haven't they in that bonus go, go new on, season go. new season now starts whenever that team's season starts they don't have to wait for new cards to come out because you know previously if you had lazio yeah. and, and the new season cards never came out then they just carried on having the five percent it's gone now for everyone. Yeah, yeah it's I gone, buddy. That. Thank God for that, because the Russian cards, weren't it? the Zenit cards were dominating everyone for too long. Yeah, it makes sense. Mad. It's a sim simple way for them to navigate negotiating licenses, losing licenses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, well, do you know who I thought had a better idea than so re or what they've done? Do you hear Nep on the podcast the other day saying about it should be three, six, five days from the point of purchase? That I think is a better idea. So you reward people who buy on the first day of the card release, like the one of and and the thousand of at the same. You get your three, you get six, your, five days. The po a point. No, even he was talking about the point of ownership effect. I mean, he buys them at the start anyway. But the point of ownership, you get three, six, five days of that card uh, ownership wise to use that or to gain that XP. So in like, theory, that you could time yourself a bit like Trim Football Index did that a little bit. There was the yeah. you had two like years your own you? your own personal season of three hundred sixty five days. Yeah. Football Index like did a little that. bit. Football Index did a little bit, but then they just fucking made it up as they went along and changed the rules <laughs> over and over again, and then just fucked off into the distance with our money. So and we all you know. put our money in. It was great. <laughs> Fortunately, I took most of it out before the end I, to put in so rare. Totally so rare mean. saved the day. I timed my house move absolutely sublimely. Took every penny out, but it, I, it was awful to watch. I lost fifteen hundred pounds. There you go. Yeah, which right. was a lot of money at the time, wasn't it? Yeah. You know? And and I would argue that's like you're one of the lucky ones. Is that so, why you've got to make your own hats nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> Any stream possible. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, new season season bonus. Then there's a collection bonus as well, which you boys are big on um, in terms of your 
what, what's your biggest collections? Obviously, Everton probably for John. Rick, are you, you, you United? No, it's not United Limited now. What's your biggest collection? At the minute? Hey, I'm the number one San Jose Earthquakes collector ah, yes. in the universe. Ah, you can tell he's been away for a few weeks. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, was, I, get... I was teeing him up. He showed me his San Jose. Um, yeah, I'm about 14, 15% 14, on the cards if I play a stack. So it's it's great. So anyway, collection bonus. Um, for, so you get, going backwards now, but 0 to 5% on your collection bonus, depending on how you build it up. That's nothing new. Um, then your season card bonus state remains as 5%. Your XP is your 0 to 10%. And this new fitness element coming in is your 0 to 10%, as we discussed. So... I was thinking about this. We're going to talk about new, the new ETH thresholds and card bonuses next. But I was thinking about this in like terms of like applying this to the to the new threshold as well. Um, so like, have you have you added up the the bonuses available? Have you thought about like what that actually means? Well, I was I was actually going to um, yeah. I mean, it means that you can get very high scores, but also yeah. I saw someone post you can get five hundred and sixty now. Is it or six hundred and fifty? Was it? As your really? Top, See, I didn't even talk about that. I don't know. So my my, my from my working out, um, which scratches fuck, and you are also an accountant, effectively, aren't you, John? Um, <laughs> from my working out, you could you typically you get across the team, and let's say this was I'm going to touch on two forty minutes. Let's say it's cost uh, two forty cap as an example. You'd get four percent per player for a captain, right? Then you get Typic, everyone's going to have a collection bonus maybe of between, or most will have collection bonus between 1% and 5%. Let's say the typical casual player is still settling around at 1%. And then you've got a, a base XP on your players, which probably is going to be about 5%, whether you bought them old and have trained them up or whether you bought them a new season. And then the fitness, which could be a maximum of 10% at the start. So that gives you 20% total bonus, right? And that's like that's what I probably would estimate a, a general person will have start of using their card. Then you could max that out though. I reckon you'd get between twenty five and tw I put what's that twenty five and twenty six and a half percent. So that would that would the difference would be you'd get your extra one and a half percent from the three boosts that you can buy. So you can boost your players, um, and then the rest of that comes from the fact that you got your ten percent XP plus your new season bonus, but you can't have it quite at the same time. So there'll be like, there'll be a, t a period in time where you've got a, a mix of the two, but you can't quite max out that 30%. So in taking that to account, the, the, the point sort of talking about is you actually could, you could hit 30% or not 26.5% when cap 240 is we're about to go into needs an additional 20% uplift. So actually you, potentially a lot of players will be in a better position if they manage it properly. So if they manage their teams properly, if it, but, but the, the one thing to me that sticks out is fitness. So fitness will dictate whether how fast that goes up and down will dictate whether people have an advantage on the new way of working or, you know, new, the new bonuses or a disadvantage. And if it's a disadvantage, probably gonna have a lot of disgruntled people, but we're not going to find out to play. I mean, um, any, any thoughts on that? I mean, I'm a mathematician and an accountant, and um, all I could see then was the gif of the guy from Hangover with all the numbers flying around Jesse's head <laughs> um, whilst he was saying all those numbers. Um, I mean, yeah, I, like the main point for me there is that fitness percentage is too much, I think. Um, but I was actually going to share my screen because I, rather than do my own sums, I decided to steal someone else's work from Twitter. Filthy. A bit filthy. Um, this is sort of um, related to the new cap rules, which I don't think we've actually quite got to yet. Um, but it, it does kind of break it down nicely. Two seconds. Is that sure? There you go, mate. There we go. So shout out to Sir Bundesliga. Oh, I did see this. Yeah, it's, it's a very good um, little breakdown that he's done. He or she, could be a she. Um, yeah, obviously we haven't mentioned it, but the cap to forty has now gone up to three hundred. Is that right? Three hundred points required to correct to get your ETH rather than the two hundred and fifty it was before. Obviously, you can now 
have a captain, which increases the percentages. Um, and then you've got all these other bonuses, etc. But he's, he's just given a few scenarios. So you know, I just thought it'd be good for us to talk through it, really, just see what he thinks about it. I mean, I think it's it makes for some good reading. Um, only two of the of the scenarios leads to getting ETH. Um, I think this this comes back to the point that I do still think it probably is still easy to win ETH. Still too easy to win ETH. Um, I don't know. What do you think? You've you've won quite a few ETHs in a row, haven't you? Which one? Are you, who are you talking to? Well, you, Jess. I know yeah, you, yeah. You so won. ETH is my target. Well, two forty is my target sort of uh division game um my my thoughts on it is honestly i don't think i actually don't think it makes it any harder per se in terms of like numbers needed to hit again dependent on how fast that fitness goes down um and potentially and that will be lined to depth of gallery because if it goes down fairly quickly if gallery depth is low then then it's definitely harder if it's reasonable then I think it's pretty much it will pretty much be the same in terms of like hit rate if people are savvy with it and actually like keep on top of it. And again, I think as I said, I mean, I, again, I, they're, they're my numbers, but if you can hit twenty five to twenty six and a half percent potentially on a cap where you need an extra twenty percent to make up, actually it could be easier. So I, I actually think this gives people the opportunity if they really want to focus on this game play then they could actually probably nail it and probably win maybe more than before. Uh, and they might maybe opportunities to gain on those that are less focused on it. And, and, the, and the fact that it now encompasses percentages mean you, people have to put more money into their fitnesses, so it, uh, fitness and stuff like that. So it, it is productive for what they're trying to do. Um, and obviously now you can have a captain, you can't, couldn't have a captain before. It's just more things to think about, isn't it? There's more things that can go wrong. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't think having graphs of different percentages added up and having to dissect spreadsheets and is fun. I, I don't <laughs> think this is fun looking at charts like this to try and decide. I think they've made it more complicated. Um, and the ten percent fitness thing is like here's that's just a money thing, isn't it? Here's a ten percent booster that people can spend money on to get a little edge. Um, I quite liked it without any of the, the fluff. I, I like having a captain. I'll give them that. I Captain's like having good. a captain. Um, but having 30% of you know bonuses spread over four things and having everyone try and dissect on, you know, oh, if you do this and then you have a percent here and then you have 10 here. And, you know, I just like, I liked how it was. It Spend 240 points, get 250 it's points to win point. you eat. A good point that you made a few few minutes ago though it was like we'll talk about this loads and it'll be all written down on nice little tables like this and whatever but actually when it comes to it we probably won't even really notice yeah, it'll just, just happen you just, just happen in the background it's not like I'm, the five players in that you've got that play yeah like, i'm not going to be making these you? mathematical decisions yeah. when i set my cap to 40 yeah. i'm going to be doing it 45 minutes for the deadline in a massive rush yeah it's just has got 10 players he's just going to pick the five that play yeah. that weekend like 23 I, actually i hope you know yeah <laughs> i just i just you know analyzing all four separate percentage ones and how much you need of anything it, it doesn't strike me as fun or engaging especially for new um you know you are, you are talking users. to two people who love spreadsheets though so <laughs> exactly right, which right is swings pretty turned on which is yeah. swings and roundabouts you two just got a boner <laughs> discussing the breakdown <laughs> of 30 percent bonuses where someone like me is just going to bang five players in um but I would agree that I don't think it makes any harder or easier. I think, you know, there's been lots of analysis already today. And yeah, maybe it might be slightly harder or slightly easier or whatever. But it makes just, me and Jesse harder. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's a change <laughs> to allow them another revenue stream, which they probably need. You know, they will have. It's not enough that they've start charging you for withdrawals or for selling. You know, there's another way in now, which at least has like an SO5 related aspect to it rather than a yeah. gas fee. Yeah, I, I saw a good thing early actually. So to keep it simple, and that, there's another chap on uh, Twitter doing analysis, and he said if your XP plus your season bonus plus your collection bonus equates over six percent, 
then you're benefiting as like a rule of thumb. That's quite a simple way to go, right, am I am I getting like an edge on what it was before without having to break down all the numbers? And that's per player. That's quite a good way to look at it. It's just setting your team each week. Mm. And really, I, mean, I know you're loving stats. <laughs> well, I'm not. But I'm also quite loose in how I like to like play the game. So if I'm building teams an hour for the deadline, I liked for a cap comp, I just go out and fucking buy someone last minute because it was fun. And I like, but I'm not going to do that now if he's only a 1% and then he gets cut to like a 0.5. It's not the, now bonus is a bit more well, key, yeah. isn't it? In a cap competition, mm. it's no longer putting in flat five players that you think will get there. It's putting in a five players that have full health and fucking all the other things to think about. I wonder um, if people get rinsed, like not get rinsed, but all will list high, I guess they will, the, re, the high XP cards are like stupid money and people actually pay stupid money for them. High XP, what about if you've got uh, a player that's got zero out of 10 fitness and a player that's got 10 out of 10 fitness? Oh, you yeah, know, that's true. Suddenly yeah. one's I, I definitely 10% do make, more. I do make decisions when I'm buying players last minute sometimes based on I'll buy the second most expensive. It depends how different it is. If some, if someone's got a 4% bonus and 6% bonus, I won't. But if, if there's a card that's cheaper, that's got 0.5% and then the next cheapest one's like a pound more and 8%, I'll definitely buy the 8% one. I do the same, especially at limited. Like yeah. I, I'll happily pay up like an extra 10% to go from one to like 8%. It's such a difference now. Like when we first started the game, like, the, the points difference between places was probably like as much as like two points sometimes. And now it's literally like 0 0.1 points can be the difference between a tier three and a tier two. Like it's, it gets so close. So it is worth it. I could barely fucking hit ETH any point anyway. So I don't know why I bothered anyway. I'm still not going to win it, got, whether they change super, it. You've got super rare ETH like five times and that's worth the same amount I've got in rare ETH. So. I did, but I haven't got it in about set six or seven game weeks now. So... Fair enough. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, right. what's next? Let's move on. So we've kind of like we've scratched on it already, really to a point. So the the new e threshold card bonus and cap mode. I'm going to share your screen again. Sorry. How's oh, it gone? Oh, of course, we yeah. shared yours, didn't we? I got rid of it because I shared my screen. I see. I see. Yeah. Let's do it. So uh, here we are. The um. Cap to, to cap to four, you knew he threshold. We, we touched on it or covered it. You basically going from 250 is your target to 300. Um, but as we said, and what that means is an extra 20% needed. We kind of already discussed the ins and outs of what that would mean, as in the additional 6% and you're benefiting from it and how you may break that down. What that will bring will be opportunity. Oh, and even done a little breakdown for us as well. Um, what it brings is opportunity um, in the early days, I think, for those that work out first um and again with the captain bonus what i like about the captain bit is that's a real differential again in terms of like winning the cards potentially as well um so like suddenly my my granite jacca can be my captain for example um which gets me excited but yeah what's i mean we're gonna we're not gonna spend any more time on this one because we pretty much covered it anyway but what's your, what's your general feelings towards this um cap 240 change like I mean, I've already jumped. Okay, love it, hate it. I already jumped the gun a bit, didn't I? But like, it's it's just a lot more um, percentages to think about, I guess. But you know, they've they've upped the they've upped the score required, but they've also upped the percentages. So I'd imagine it's about the same, really. Mm -hmm. That's my views. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm probably slightly dislike, but you know. I don't think it changes that much. I just, I spend so much time on so and I'm so late on deadlines anyway that having more to think about just scares me. But I don't think it yeah. changes that much. And I've got a couple of stacks. So maybe I think it there's helps. a gap. I haven't looked yet, but I think there's probably a gap now for so rare data. If, so you know, you can do the projected teams. If you can now, if you put your players in and it will accumulate, I'm going to do it all the XP and all these new bonuses to then give you your projected score based on that. So you can look at your five starters and then go, will, should they, should they hit over the cap score based on what the bonuses is? Cause I haven't done it yet. But what I, what I, my plan is to, I've got my spreadsheet and my players to do, do that exact thing. Like we'll look at where they sit on all the percentages and then go, right. Who's over 6%, who isn't. 
and then I'm probably going to trade out if I've got anyone super low. I'm going to trade out of them and just rebuy their cards at a higher percentage if you can get them. Is my plan. Okay. That's if I me. could throw out one thing that I think was cool about today, um, before I forget, is so it's been trending on Twitter all day. Which is it really? I just checked now and it's still on my trending list as well. So, see that is that is marketing. People That's be talking. Thing. So, so is trading on mine as well, but also so is Ron Pickering. <laughs> Ronnie Who's, Pickering. Who is, Ron? Who is Ronnie like, Pickering? I'm fucking Ron Pickering. It's the guy. <laughs> Who is he? It's the fucking, fucking Ronnie Pickering. I don't know who I am. I'm fucking Ron Pickering. I've never God. heard of Ron Pickering. I actually don't know who. I don't know who he is apart from that video, which is where he has massive road rage with somebody, um, and he says he's fucking Ron Pickering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to research that afterwards. There you go. Next up, it was still going. 12 minutes, my ass. Um, (sighs) Next up is where fancy meets more connection, a new dimension. So cards are now going 3D. Bloody hell. So um, I haven't actually looked into this at all, boys. Have either of you had a look into 3D? I mean, it's not written about it, but have you had a look into 3D? Fucking cool, mate. It is 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 cool. This yeah. is the one I'm hyped for. This I fucking I love cool sell, cards. Sell it to I, me then, because I, I don't know. I've got no thoughts on it yet. I like. Well, it's not, not, it's not, yeah, it's not going to add a lot to your life. Um, you're a stats man. You don't really care about glamour, do you? I love design. I love like cool card Shiny designs. Thing. You're a magpie. Yeah, they, yeah, I like <laughs> it when they they've released cool looking cards and. On the, they're saying on your mobile app or on mobile, you'll be able to like turn your phone and you'll be able to, your card will move and it'll have a front and a back, spin it around on your mobile. You know, I think adding that layer of depth and design is cool because some of the original cards are kind of boring, aren't they? And a lot of the ones they bring out kind of look the same. Having a 3D card that you can flip over and have some info on the back or maybe they'll have different card backs and you can win different card backs so you can unlock skins in the shop that are different card backs and it's just another cosmetic people can buy if they want i just think card design could be enhanced a lot more uh, and they talk about the evolution of that and yeah i think i mean i like special edition cards already look fancy so i'm all in for better designed cards Nice. I'm, excited John, to, any thoughts? I'm excited to see what they look like when they come out. I've seen a few, annoyingly, I don't think I actually liked the posts on Twitter, so I can't see them anymore, but I saw um, some concept card designs by somebody who just does them in his, in his spare time um, of some 3D cards and some like really cool like, action shots of the players. Um, yeah, they look cool. I mean, you've had, obviously, we've mentioned it a little bit, Rick, on our Tuesday show, but the, the basketball ones with the the players in their suits and the cards look yeah. really cool. holding the basketballs like ultimately i think a lot of the people that do these type of game like nft games and collectibles it, t- it sort of brings you back to when you actually collected things that look cool when you were a kid like that's what you did so the, the more they make things look cool i think the better and agreed this- if you want to make things collectible they've got to look cool haven't they if every card looks the same design every season you know, if that is that Wemby rookie cards had on the back like a special rookie NBA for a season design to mm-hmm. go with the front, you know, it spins around, giving it that 3D aspect. I think building on the collectability means making things look more unique and enhanced and, you know, fun to own. I'd, I'd say it's very important how these things look. Um, well, how all the cards look. I think it's, I don't know what their graphic design team like is like, but they need to be putting a lot of money into it, I'd say. Um, um, so it just look cool. Do you remember when they launched the Bundesliga and they were going to do like video? Yes. Video yeah. moments. And then yeah. it just disappeared and no one ever, like, oh, yeah. um, I'm not sure I want video cards, but, you know. They did that. Well, it was Top Shot, wasn't it? We were involved in. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. But they were going to do it on these Bundesliga, weren't they? When they came out, they said there'd be like there'd be moments. That was probably uh, two years ago now, wasn't it? Or at least, yeah, a long time ago. Oh, you're both. I was going to say they probably need a different um, different agreement, don't they? Because players have players and teams have have image rights, right? Um, They have to buy to sell these cards. I I imagine. I imagine there's different rights required to buy someone's actual 
movements. I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's probably is from the Bundesliga yeah. or the broadcasters that the pay for the rights to. Yeah. Mm. Well, we're um, talking you... about Bundesliga. Can I can I take us on a segue? You may go on. Do you remember and- Andre Schürrle? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see him? What he's up to these days? No, I know he used to be an ambassador. Is he still an ambassador for Serie? Well, he he retired at like is it twenty nine? Yeah, he was young. Yeah, really young. Um, and he's just he's now. T- have you seen? You know, who Wim Wim Hof is, don't you? Yeah, the Ice Man. Yeah, so he, there's like the Wim Hof Endurance Challenge, which is one of the hardest challenges in the world. And he's just gone and trekked. There's pictures of him on the internet. Have a little search. He's just gone and trekked up the uh, the highest point in Czech Republic with <laughs> no basically no clothes on. He's got shorts on, um, and boots. But yeah, he's like proper Wim Hofing now. He's kind of lost, so, yeah. he's lost his mind, but he's yeah. <laughs> he's up to. That's a strange. Yeah, it seems like the sort of thing you might do if you were like on drugs or or um, mm. having a midlife crisis. But oh, yeah, for, by, for mm, Dortmund, each to their own. Yeah, I thought I thought you and everyone needed to know that anyway. Yeah. Um, so, you two uh, are yeah. Columbus Crew supporters, right? Yes. Just signed Julian Gressel from the Whitecaps. Oh, what Ooh. a signing! That's a major signing. I'm going to go and buy one of his cards immediately. He's got the Big. best best wand in the league. That's Star a wing back. Signing. Is it him official? And, him and Chucho as a stack is going to be unreal. Mm. Is it Alberta, official? Yeah. Funny enough, um, speaking of limited, and my, my my next plan as the season's ending is to hoover up a, a limited gallery of Columbus. Um. Yeah. Although yeah. Did you he, see... won't be, he won't be part of that, will he? But... Did you see Alba's gone to Inter Miami today as well? Alba bus gets messy. And Iniesta's getting rumoured as well, I saw. I don't know if that's And Suarez, him. yeah. Is Iniesta being rumoured as well? I thought he was done. I thought he he won't go. I don't think he will go. But yeah. Anyway, oh. should we finish this off? Because yes. Yes. it's almost yeah, my you bedtime. You go to bed, don't you? You're tired. <laughs> right. <laughs> So next yeah, it's up, gonna be, it's going to be really awful for you having ten hours sleep tonight, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Well, we've digressed from so rare talk to people climbing up ice mountains, uh, transfers, and well, you just told us about Julian Gressel. That's your own fault. That's true. Want you to buy him, and we can keep going. Did you know Fernando Torres is now a bodybuilder? I did actually. Did you know that Tommy Gravison is um, a professional casino? Uh, sorry, professional poker player, <laughs> and is. He's like a multi-millionaire now. I mean, he was a multi-millionaire anyway, but... And he dates an ex-Playboy model. Wow. Big up Tommy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we really anyway, do like Anyway, speaking yeah. of connections, where fantasy meets reality is next up on the um, on the old roadmap. I haven't even read this, so I'm kind of reading it as we go. I'm, I'm just spitballing, as John would say. Um, so... I don't even know what. Yeah, what it's just they're going to give they're going to give out more VIP stuff, more jerseys, more experiences, more special weeklies, you know. And the main thing that I took away from it is they're fucking going to put sh- hats in the club shop. Going to put movies. hats and in the club shop. I will not buy another. I'm not wearing another hat until I get my so rare hat. They're going to put hoodies in there as well. Hopefully that will distract people so I can get so rare hats. But um, yeah, they're going to really push the experiences. The stuff, the jerseys, you know, all the all the cosmetic stuffs that make it cool and unique. Because I really want signed jerseys. I really want to play football with Zidane. I really want a hat. That is, you know, they give away a lot of tickets. These things can't be underestimated. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want it, if you want a so rare cap and a signed Red Bull Leipzig jersey, then you can have this one and my spare, and I'll give you it for eighty thousand coins and an Alex Awobi serial match. It's a good deal. Okay. Do you not own a Wobie, mate? You're not a true fan. I do. <laughs> Piss off, <are> you? <laughs> <laughs> I know that hurts. Right. Right. So yeah, that's it. I think, isn't it? Once in a lifetime opportunities, which none of us have had yet. Um, in fact, speaking of caps, uh, so rare, Dan. So rare, John. If you're watching, I'm sure you watch this every week. Where are our caps? I've been waiting <laughs> since March. It's been a long time. We want to wait. And that's oh, it, right. Rick. Oh, didn't you have one more thing for us? There was one more, one more point, Rick. Uh, no, license. it wasn't very interesting. You mean yesterday's announcement? That was just about yeah. the licensed clubs update. Lots of licensed clubs have gone missing from the list, haven't they? Um, 
I think someone said Minero was gone, PSG, some of the League One League uh, uh, teams were gone. Um, again? Uh. Um, <laughs> basically, loads of teams have gone missing, and they said when they're renewing or negotiating, they have to take them off their license list. They can't send them in auctions. They can't um, reward them as um, prizes. You know, so people get a bit anxious, but it's because they're negotiating deals. Um, so yeah, that's why they keep disappearing. Part of the game, eh? Part of the games. You know. It's a business, isn't it? You have to make negotiations sometimes. That's what's going to happen. You know, I, they just need to be transparent about it. As long as they tell me, I don't really care. Like Saudi. Like, generally, I love the fact they yeah. went, we're not going to cover Saudi. Or like when they did it with J-League, J they went, I know you know it's J-League's not on the list anymore. We're negotiating with them. It's going to take a little while. Um, we we really want to get them on. I'll let you know. And then they went, oh, we've got J-League. We'll be doing it soon. And we're like, oh, great. Thanks for letting me know. Glad I know, because there's no confusion. Because he told me. <laughs> so matter of fact, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. You're right. And that's it, right? I think we... Uh, any plugs? Oh, I'll give you a plug. You know I love a good plug. Go on. Um, <laughs> beat the boys. Last weekend, this um, coming game week, make sure you get your teams in. Howie C76 is currently in top which is a rare and a limited you get two prizes if you come first all the way down to six so you top six make sure put, put, make sure you put your teams in because you've got a solid chance uh, i'm in 28th johnny's in 14th who knows where jesse is oh um, can we try yeah, and find may, him, may i say for, remember to register because i don't think i actually registered for this yeah one. can we go down to 15. oh so no, i don't think, I don't think i'm in it here you are you're 134th with 346 points Top effort that is. Oh, yeah. There you go. Represented. Yeah. So yeah. Good luck, everyone. Last weekend, we've made fucking tons of fuck ups, but six of you will win prizes <laughs> on Someone Tuesday's show. Um, <laughs> so we're all excited for that. Happy days. And, and the big coin totalizer off between me and Johnny. Coin collecting Ooh, games. I'm going for those. I'm going for those three hundred uh, and fifty points, five thousand coins this weekend. I'm having it. And if I win any tier five limiteds at the weekend, I'm going to give them away on the show on Tuesday. Fuck Sweet. it. If I win a tier four limited, I'll give it away on the show as well. There you go. L limited, though. Limited. You're absolutely off your head, mate. <laughs> there we go. Um, man, man of people. Yeah. I think we all need to go now so Ricky can get some sleep. because Yeah. You know, looking he's, a little edgy. He's looking a little bit edgy. He's getting a little bit angst. Do you know what I mean? It's it's nice to have you back, though, Jess, even though you're also called the So Rare Mamba for this whole time. But <laughs> I thought I'm I'd wait till the end what for it. I just thought I'd wait till the end until I corrected that you've been me the whole time. Hey. <laughs> There's two of me. I'm furious. <laughs> I'm furious. Um, How do I change that? Too late, mate. Everyone, can you like and subscribe the video as well? Because it'll make our weekends loads better because we like friends. It's warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it, Rick? Is that the warm one? and fuzzy inside. And join us on Tuesday. For another show and then next Thursday and then Tuesday after that. Just keep, Just coming, keep back. coming back. Just keep coming back. Never leave endless. it. <laughs> endless. <laughs> See you at All Sarah right. Sevens. Be there. Oh, Sarah Sevens next weekend. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> we ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Leave it a Thursday club.